Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read Isaiah 29-34, Proverbs 2, and Psalm 9. Let's get started. Ah, uh, Ariel, Ariel, the sea where David encamped, add year to year, yet th let the feast run their round. Yet I will distress Ariel, and there shall be moaning and lamentation, and she shall be to me like an Ariel. And I will encamp against you all, men, and will besiege you with towers, and I will rage, rage, raise siege works against you, and you will be brought low, and the earth you shall speak, and from the dust your speech will be bowed down. Your voice shall come from the ground like the voice of a ghost, and from the dust your speech shall whisper, that the multitude of your foreign foes shall be like small dust, and the multitude of the wicked was like passing chaff. In an instant, suddenly he will be visited by the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with whirlwind and tempest, and the flame of a devouring fire. And the multitude of all the nations that fight against Ariel, all that fight against her in a stronghold and distress her shall be like a dream, a vision of the night. There is when a hungry man dreams, and behold, he is eating, and awakes with his hunger not satisfied, or as when a thirsty man dreams, and behold, he is drinking, and awakes faith with his thirst not quenched, so shall the multitude of all the nations be, that fight against Mount Zion. Astonish yourselves, and be astonished. Blow yourselves, and be blind. Be drunk, but not with wine. Stagger, but not with strong drink. For the Lord has poured out upon you a spirit of deep sleep, and has closed your eyes, and covered your heads. And the vision of all this has become to you like the words of a book that is sealed. When men can, when men give it to one who can read him, saying, "Read this," he says, "I cannot, for it is sealed." And when they give it to one who cannot read, saying, "Read this," he says, "I cannot read." And the Lord said, "And because the people draw near with their mouth and honor me with their lips, while their hearts are far from me, and their fear of me is a commandment taught by them, therefore, behold, I will again do wonderful things with this people, with wonder upon wonder, and the wisdom of the wise men." Their wise men shall perish, and the discernment of their discerning men shall be hidden. Ah, oh, you who hide deep from the Lord your can, whose deeds are in the dark, and you say, Who sees us? Who knows us? <clears throat> you shall turn things upside down. Shall the potter be regarded as a clay? As the thing should stay, say of its maker, He did not make me. Or the thing formed, say of him who formed it. He is no understanding. Is it not yet a very little while until the banner shall be turned into a fruitful field? And the fruitful field shall be regarded as a forest. And that day the deaf shall hear in the words of a book. And out there gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. The meek will obtain shall obtain fresh joy in the Lord. And the poor one mankind will exalt in the holy one of Israel. The ruthless shall come to nothing. And the scoffer see. And all who watch to do evil shall be cut off. Who by word may command out to be an offender, and lay a snare for him who reproves in the gate, and with an empty plea turn aside him who is in the room. Therefore, thus says the Lord, who redeemed Abraham, concerning the house of Jacob. Jacob shall be, shall no more be ashamed, and no more shall his face grow pale. But when he sees his children, the work of his my hands in his midst, they will sanctify my name. They will sanctify the holy one of Jacob, and they will stand in awe of the whole God of Israel. And those who go astray in spirit will come to understand. And those who men will accept instruction. And our stubborn children declares the Lord, who carry out a plan, but not lie. And who make an alliance, but not my spirit, that they may add to sin, who set out to go down to Egypt without asking for my direction, should take refuge in the dark protection of Pharaoh, and to seek shelter in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the protection of Pharaoh turn to your shame. And the shelter in the shadow of Egypt to your humiliation. For though, though his officials are its own and his envoys reach chains, everyone comes to shame through a people that cannot profit from. That brings neither help nor profit, but shame and disgrace. And no call on the beasts of the nether. They're a land of trouble and anguish. From where come the lioness and the lion, the adder and the flying fiery serpent? They carry their riches on the backs of donkeys and their treasures on the humps of camels. To a people that cannot profit them, Egypt's help is worthless and empty. Therefore I have called her. Rahab who sits still. Now, and now go, write it before them on a tablet and inscribe it in a book, that it may be for the time to come as a witness for them. For they are a rebellious people, lying children, children unwilling to hear the instruction of the Lord, who say to the seas, Do not see, and to the prophets, Do not prophesy to us what is right. Speak to us smooth things, prophecy illusions. Leave the way, turn aside from the path. Let us hear no more about the Holy One of Israel. Because he despised this word, and trusted oppression, oppression and perverseness, and rely on them. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you like a breach in the highway, bulging out and about to collapse, whose breaking comes 
suddenly, like in in an instant. And he's breaking just like that of a potter's wheel. That I smashed so suddenly. That I smashed so ruthlessly that among the fragments from a shard of sand, which with which to take fire from the hearth or to dip water or to dip up water from out of the sister, the faster the love of her holy one is shown. You know, returning and Returning and rest, you shall be safe. And quietness and trust shall be yours. But you are unwilling. But you are unwilling. And you say, No, we will flee upon horses. And therefore you shall flee away. And we will ride upon swift steeds. Therefore your pursuer shall be swift. A thousand shall flee at the threat of one. And at the threat of five, you shall flee. Till you are left like a flagstaff on top on the top of a mountain. Like a signal on a hill. Therefore the Lord waits to be glory gracious to you and therefore he exalts himself to show mercy to you for the lord is a god of justice blessed are all those who wait for him for a people shall dwell in jehoshaphat and in jerusalem you shall weep no more he will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry as soon as he hears it he answers you and there is the lord give you the bread the bread <clears throat> those the lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction uh, yet your teacher will not hide himself any more, but your eyes shall see I uh, you shall see your teacher, and your eye you shall hear a word behind, behind you saying, This is the way of walking. When you turn to the right or when you turn to the left, and then you will fill your carved idols overlay with silver and gold plate and metal images. And they will scatter them as unclean things. You will say to them, Be gone and he'll and he'll give rain to to for the sea with with which you sow the gra- so the gra- and bre- the produce of the grass, and <clears throat> which will be rich and plenteous. And that day, the your, your livestock will graze in large pastures, and the oxen and donkeys, <laughs> and the oxen and donkeys that work the ground will eat seasoned fodder, which has been winnowed, winnowed, winnowed with shell and for and. And on every lofty, and on every lofty mountain and every high hill, there will be brooks running with water. In the day of the the great sword, when the towers fall, moreover the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun. And when the light of the sun will, and the light of the sun will be sevenfold, as the light of seven days. In the day when the Lord binds up the brokenness of His people and heals the wounds inflicted by His blood, the hell, the name of the Lord comes from afar, burning with anger and in thick rising smoke. His lips are full of fury, and his tongue is like a devouring fire. His breath is like an overflowing sea, stream that reaches up to the neck. <laughs> and to sift the nations with the sieve of destruction, and to place on the jaws of the peoples a bridle that leads astray. You shall have as long as in the night, when a holy feast is kept, and gladness of heart, as when one sits out to the sand of the flood to go to the mountain of the Lord, to the rock of Israel, as the, and the Lord will cause his majestic voice. To be heard, and the descending blow of Jerusalem to be seen, in fierce anger, and a flame of devouring fire, with a cloud burst, and storm and hailstones. The Assyrians will be terror stricken at the voice of the Lord, when he strikes with his rod, and every smoke of every stroke of the appointed star that the Lord lays on them will be soon will be to the sound of tambourines and lyres. Battling with brandished arm, he will fight with them, for a burning place has long been prepared. Indeed, for the king is made, it is made ready. Its pyre made deep and wide, with fire and wood in abundance. The breath of the Lord, like a stream of sulfur, kindles it. Woe to those who go down to Egypt for help and rely on horses, who trust in chariots because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong. They do not look to the Holy One of Israel, Holy One of Israel, or consult to them. And yet he is wise and brings disaster. He does not pull back his words. He will arise and against the house of the evil dogs and against the helpers of those who work in the way. And the Egyptians are men, are men and not God. And their horses are flesh and not spirit. And not spirit. When the Lord stretches out his hand, the helper will stumble. And he helped her, helped her fall. And they will all perish together. For thus the Lord said to me, As a lion or a young lion growls over its prey, and when the band of shepherds is called out against him, called out against it, he is not terrified of their shouting or daunted at their, at their noise. So the Lord will 
a lot of hosts will come down to find a Mount Zion and it's on its hill. Like birds hovering, so the Lord of hosts will, will protect Jerusalem. He will protect and deliver. He will spare and rescue. Turn to him whom people have him from whom people have de- deeply revolted. O children of Israel. For in that day everyone shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which your hands have, made, have simply made for you. And the Assyrian shall fall by a sword, not of man. A sword, not of man, shall devour him. And he shall flee from the sword, and his young men shall be put to forced labor. His rock shall pass away in terror, and his officers desert the standard in panic, declares the Lord, whose fire is in Zion, and whose furnace is in Jerusalem. Behold, a king will reign in righteousness, and princes who will rule in justice. Each will be like a hiding place from the wind, hiding place from the wind. And a shelter from the sword, like streams of water in a dry place, like the shade of a green rock in a weary land. Then the eyes of those who see will not be closed, and the ears of those who hear will give attention. The heart of the hasty will understand it, now, and the tongue of the and the tongue of the who, the stammerers will hasten to speak. Distinctly, the fool will no more be called noble, nor the scoundrel said to be honourable. For the fool speaks folly, and his heart bears you with iniquity. To practice ungodliness, to utter error concerning the Lord, to leave the craving of the hungry unsatisfied, and to deprive the thirsty of drink. And as for the scoundrel, his devices are evil, he plans wicked schemes, he, to ruin the poor with lying words, even when the plea of the needy is right. But he nobles, but he who nobles. He who is of noble plans, noble things, and on noble things he stands. Rise up, you women who are at ease, and hear my voice. You complain of daughters, give ears to my speech, and a little more than a year you will shut it, you complain of mine. For the great harvest fails, the fruit harvest will not come. Will not come. Tremble, you women who are at ease, shall you, shall you complain of mine? Strip and make yourselves bare, and tie sackles around your waist. Eat your breasts for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine, for the soil of my people, growing up in thorns and briars. Yes, for all the joyous houses in the exalted city, for the place of palaces forsaken, the popular city deserted, the hill and the watchtower will become dense forever, a joy of wild donkeys, a pasture of flocks, until the spirit is poured out poured upon us from, from on high, and the wilderness becomes a fruitful field, and the fruitful field is deemed a forest, and injustice will dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness abide in the fruitful field, and the effect of righteousness will be peace, and the effect of righteousness, quietness, and trust forever. And the people will abide in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings, and in quiet resting places, and it will hail when the forest falls down, and the sea will be utterly laid low. Happy are you who sow beside all waters, who let the feet of the ox and the donkey range free. Ah, you destroy, you yourself have not been destroyed, you traitor, whom none have betrayed. And you have ceased to destroy, you will be destroyed. And when you have finished betraying, they will betray you. O Lord, be gracious to us, we wait for you. Be our arm every morning, our salvation in the time of trouble. As the tumultuous noise, people is flee. And you lift yourselves, yourself up, nations are scattered. And your spoil is gathered as the carriage caterpillar gathers as locust leaf is left upon and the lord is exalted for he dwells on high he will fill zion with justice and righteousness and he will be a stability of your times abundance of salvation wisdom and knowledge <laughs> the fear of the lord is zion's treasure behold the heroes cry in the sea in the streets the envoys of peace weep bitterly the highways lie waste the traveller ceases covenants are broken cities are despised there is no regard for men the land mourns and languishes the man is confounded and withers away sharon is like a desert and bashan and carmel shake off their leaves now i will arise says the lord now i will lift myself up now i will be exalted you can see shaft you give birth to stubble your breath is of fire that will consume you and the peoples will be as if burned to light, like thorns cut down, that are burned in the fire. Hear you who are far off what I have done, and you who are near, acknowledge my might. The sinners in Zion are afraid, trembling as seized the God, godless. Who among us can dwell with a consuming fire? Who among us can dwell? Who among us can dwell with everlasting burdens? He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly. He who despises the gain of oppressions. Who shakes his hands lest they hold a bridle. Who stops his ears from the hear, from hearing of bloodshed and shuts his eyes from looking on evil. He will dwell in the heights, and his place of defense will be the fortresses of rocks. His play, bread will be given him, his water will be shot. Your eyes will behold the king in his beauty. You will see a land that stretches a heart, your heart will muse on the terror. 
Where is he who was who counted? Where is he who weighed the tribute? Where is he who counted the power hours? You'll see no more of the innocent people. There are people of an obscure speech uh, that you cannot under- comprehend, stammering in a tongue that you cannot understand. Behold, Zion, the sea of our point of feast, the eyes will see Jerusalem, an untroubled habitation, an immovable tent, whose safe will never be plucked up, nor will any of its cords be broken. There, but there the Lord and majesty will be for us, the place of broad rivers and streams, where no galley with oars can go, nor majestic ship can pass. But the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king, he'll save us. The cords hang loose, he cannot hold the mast firm. In its place, we'll keep the sails spread out. No prey and spoil and abundance will be divided. Even the lame will take the prey, and no inhabitant will say, I am sick, and the, pe- the people who dwell there will be forgiven their iniquity. Draw near, O nations, to hear, and give attention to people, so that the earth hear, and all that fills it, the world, and all that comes from it. Uh, the Lord is enraged uh, against all the nations, and furious against all the heads. Oh, the host, he has devoted them to destruction, and he has given them over for slaughter. The slain will be cast out, and the stage of their corpses shall rise. Their mountains shall flow with their blood. All the host of heaven shall run away, and the skies will roll up like a scroll. All their hosts shall fall, as leaves fall from the vine, like leaves falling from the fig tree. For my sword has drunk its fill in the heavens. Behold, it is a for judgment upon Adam, upon the people I have devoted to his destruction. The Lord has a sword, it is sated with blood, it is gorged with fat. With the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams, for the Lord has a sacrifice and bottle, the grace lord in the land of Ed, wild oxen shall fall with them, and young steers with the mighty bulls. Their land shall drink its full of blood, and their soul shall be goat with And their soil shall be gorged with fat, for the Lord has a day of for the Lord has a day of vengeance, a year of recompense from the cause of Zion. And their streams of Adam shall be turned into pitch, and the soil into sulphur. The land shall become burning pitch. Night and day it shall not be quenched. The smoke shall go up forever. From generation to generation it will lie waste. None, sh- none shall pass through. None, none shall pass through forever and ever. Uh, the hawk and the porcupine shall possess it. The owl and the raven shall dwell. Shall dwell in it, and he shall stretch the line of confusion over it, and the plumb line of <clears throat> emptiness. It's noble, so there is no one there to court a king, and all its princes shall be nothing. Thorns shall grow over its strongholds, nails and thistles in its fortresses. It shall be the haunt of jackals, and an abode for ostriches, and wild animals shall meet with hyenas, and wild goats shall cry to its father. Indeed, there the night bird settles, and finds for itself a resting place. There the owl nests and lays, and hatches and gathers her young, and her share. Indeed, their hawks, there the hawks are gathered, each one with her mate, seeking relief from the book of the Lord. And not one of these shall be missing, none shall be without her mate. For the mouth of the Lord has commanded, and his spirit has gathered, has gathered, he has cast the lot from them. His hand is portioned it out to them with the line. <coughs> they shall possess it forever. From generation to generation, they shall dwell in it. Proverbs 2 My son, if you receive my words and treasure all my commandments with you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understand me, understand me, yes, if you will call out for insight and raise your voice for understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord. And find the knowledge of God, for the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He saw the same wisdom for that, but he is assured to those who walk in integrity, guarding the path of wisdom, guarding the path of justice, and watching over the way of his saints. Then you will understand righteousness and justice, when in equity, every good path, for wisdom will come into your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. But discretion will watch over you, understanding will guard you, deliver you from the way of evil, and from men of perverted speech, who forsake the path of uprightness. Uh, rightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil and delight in the perverseness of evil, men whose paths are crooked and who are de- devious in their ways. For, so you will be delivered from the forbidden woman, from the adulteress of the smooth words, who forsakes the companion of Amy and forgets the covenant of the God. For her house sinks down to death, and her paths to the departed. None who go to her come back, nor do they regain the paths of life. 
So you'll walk in the way of the good and keep to the path of the righteous, while the upright will inhabit the land, and those with the integrity with integrity will remain in it, but the wicked will be cut off from the land, and the treacherous will be rooted out of it. Psalm Psalm nine. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult with you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before your presence. For you have maintained my cause, my just cause. For you have sat on the throne, giving righteous judgment. You have rebuked the nations. You have made the wicked perish. You have blotted out their name forever and them. And the enemy came to an end in everlasting liberty. They seized you, rooted out. The very memory of them has perished. The Lord, the Lord sits in very He has established his throne for justice. He judges the world with uprightness. Of righteousness, and he judge, he judges the peoples with uprightness. The Lord is stronghold for the oppressor, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name have put their trust, put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Say praises to the Lord who sits enthroned in Zion. Tell among the peoples his deeds. For he who avenges blood is mindful of you. He does not forget the cry of the afflicted. Be gracious to me, O Lord. See my affliction from those who hate me. For you who lift me up in the gates of death, and I may recount all your praises. That in the gates of the daughter of Zion, I may rejoice in your salvation. That the nations have sunk in the pit that they have made, in the net they, where they, that they hid, their own foot has been caught. And the Lord has made himself known. He has executed judgment. The wicked are standing in the work of their own hands. Uh, uh, the wicked shall return to shore. All the nations have forgiven the needy shall not always be forgotten, and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the nations be judged before you. Put them in fear, O Lord. Let the nations know that they are but men. Now let's stand as you now to the Lord's prayer. Please pray, heads. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as you wish to forgive us our debtors. Please not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For us is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.